What is going on? This is Dr. Adrian Chavez here with personaltrainingprep.com, the number one resource for helping personal trainers pass the ACSM Certified Personal Training Exam on the first try. And today I want to talk to you about the equations that are going to be on the exam. So I want to give you an overview of what to expect as far as equations when you take the ACSM CPT exam. So I've worked with over a thousand students now. I've had over a thousand students go through my uh, exam prep materials. And one of the things that continuously comes up is students are worried as they go into the exam, they're worried about what equations that they're going to run into. And that seems to be a consistent theme. So in this video, I'm just going to go over quickly what equations that you need to know when studying for the exam. So first thing is I'm going to go over is the conversions. So this question comes up probably more than any. What conversions do I need to worry about? What conversions do I need to know? Or do I need to know conversions? And you do. You need to know how to convert kilograms to pounds. And that's by dividing by 2.2. You need to learn how to convert inches into centimeters. And that's multiplying inches by 2.54. You also need to know how to convert mets to VO2. And mets to VO2 is just 3.5. So if it's one met, the VO2 uh, equivalent of that is, um, so one met will be 3.5 milliliters per kilogram per minute. Okay, uh, you also need to know how to convert METs to kilocalories per minute. I'm not going to go over that equation specifically because it's more than just one step. And I just want to make sure that you know what's going to be on the exam here. Um, if you want more information about all of these equations and how to take care of them, you can click on the link below, sign up for a free trial of my exam prep uh, material, and I give you all that in there. Um, next thing you need to know, body composition. So you need to know how to calculate goal weights. I've done another YouTube video on that, so I'm not going to go over that at all. Uh, check out my channel, subscribe to my channel, check out the other videos I've posted. Uh, I break down exactly how to calculate goal weight. Uh, that's one that a lot of people have problems with, and it is kind of confusing. Um, so you need to know how to calculate goal weight. You need to know how to calculate BMI, and you need to know how to calculate BMI with the conversion. So you might get pounds and inches and you need to convert that to kilograms per meters and BMI is just kilograms over meters squared. So kilograms divided by meters squared. So if you're um, working with someone or you're calculating BMI for a hundred pound person who's two meters, you're going to take kilograms, hundred kilograms divided by two squared, which is going to be four hundred divided by four is 25. That's going to be their BMI. All right. So you need to know how to calculate that and you need to know how to make those conversions. You need to know how many calories are in a pound. So one pound equals 3,500 calories. It's not completely true, uh, but for the purposes of this ACSM exam, we're going to go with that. Um, so one pound, you need to know that that equals 3,500 calories. You also need to know um, what calorie deficit, daily calorie deficit needs to be achieved in order to achieve a certain amount of weight loss. So if you have a client that needs to lose 10 pounds over 42 days or six weeks or 10 weeks, you need to understand how to create that calorie deficit that they need to create in order to lose that weight. So um, you do that by multiplying the 3,500, uh, which is in one pound, by the number of pounds they want to lose, divide that by the number of days. That's going to give you the calorie deficit per day that they need to hit in order to achieve that weight loss. Um, some of the other things, and these, this isn't necessarily equations, but you need to know protein goals. You need to know carbohydrate uh, guidelines, and it's not necessarily an equation, just guidelines. Um, but you need to know those things. You need to know fat percentage and how to calculate that uh, for a specific client. You also need to know the components of the VO2 max equation. You need to understand that equation. You need to know what goes into it. I've done a video on that as well. Um, so I'll link that video below. I'll also link the video on calculating goal weights below as well. I've done a video on both of those. I break that down in detail. Those are a lot more complicated than what I wanted to include in this video. Um, you also need to know how to calculate exercise heart rate at given intensities based on maximum heart rate and then also based on heart rate reserve, which is also referred to as the Carvanen method. Okay, done a video on that as well. So I'll post a link to that below or you can just check out my channel, subscribe to the channel. Um, I have a lot of resources here on just helping you study for the exam. Um, and that's 
pretty much it. You also need to know how to calculate uh, weight. So if someone's one rep max is 250, you know, what weight are they working at if they're working at out for hypertrophy? Um, but that's a simple calculation. That's just going to take 250 times the percentage uh, at the intensity level that they're working at. So it's very simple stuff. Um, that's not as, so much of a calculation. Uh, the equations that people really, really worry about are the conversions, calculating goal weights, uh, the body composition stuff, um, the calorie deficit. So make sure that you know how to do those things. And if you do know how to do those things, you should be set as far as equations go. It seems like this is an area where people really just get concerned about uh, as far as studying for the exam uh, because the equations, you know, math is hard for some people. And uh, this just seems to be an overwhelming topic. So uh, if you want help with putting all the information together on the ACSM exam, uh, you can click on the link below. You can sign up for a free trial for my ACSM exam prep course. As I mentioned, I've helped over a thousand people pass the exam so far, have over a 90% success rate of those who have uh, you know, purchased my course and used it to study, um, probably over 95 at this point. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a really good resource. I try to put everything together for you in one place, simplify the content and really help you to understand it better. Now it's not a replacement for other types of studying, but it is a great place to start. So check out my other videos, check out the free trial. If you're struggling with studying for the exam, thanks for tuning into this video. Hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.